Chapter 1 summary, the first thing we deal with is PIMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You go parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, left to right, add, subtract, left to right. So for this one, you have x's and y's, you have the values right here, so basically we're going to take the negative 2, and see I plugged it in for the x's, and I have 3, I plugged in for the y, in red, and then I do order of operations, my answer ends up being negative 11. With order of operations, you do everything inside the parentheses, and a negative negative is a positive, so that would be 3 plus 2. Okay. Um, then, do you understand this negative negative is actually a plus 2? Then I do multiply divide left to right, so I did this and get 20. I do this and get 10, or negative 10. And then left to right, add, subtract. So negative 13, add 2, done. Just make sure you know how to follow order of operations. If you go out of the order of operations, you'll get a different answer a lot of times. Sometimes you get lucky and it still works. But you have to follow the order of operating things in math. Let's go to here. When we solve equations, this is solving. We have to distribute. This is equal sign right here. So we get this. Combine like terms over here. Combine the x's. Combine the numbers. And when I solve, I minus a 3x from both sides, and all my x's disappear. When all your x's disappear, and what's left over, if what's left over is false, hopefully you understand that means there are no solutions. Again, if all the x's disappear and what's left over is false, there are no solutions. But here, we have an inequality. All the x's disappeared, but what's left over is true. So if what's left over is true, that is all real numbers. Everything works. So again, if x's all drop out, if it's false, there's no solutions. If it's true, there's everything works. No matter what you plug in, it should work. Those are two little tricky situations. But basically, when you solve equations, you guys, get the x's to one side, numbers to the other. We'll show you it over here. Um, one more situation where you have issues is with absolute values. If you ever have an absolute value equal to a negative, the answer is don't go any farther. It doesn't possible. No solution. You cannot do this. You cannot get an absolute value. Value out of this that's negative will always be positive. Before we do this absolute value problem over here, let's look at this. Hopefully you realize this is a number line. The less than sign looks like that at the end of the less the number line. The greater than sign sits right over here. The less than always looks like an L as well. Also, if you have x is less than or sorry, is greater than or equal to 2. This is the same thing, just written backwards. These are the same, just written backwards. Here's the picture of it. X is solid, because it's or equal to, and it's shaded to the greater side. Basically, follow the arrow. Okay, last thing. Absolute values, you have to first tell if it's an or or an and. Greators, less thans. This is a less than, so it's an and. Bam. I first have to get the absolute value by itself, so minus the 4 over. Divide by 2. From here, I make two equations. The first one just stays the same. The second one, flip the sign. See so the sign got flipped? Make it a negative. And then we solve each of these. When I solve it, basically, again, you get x by itself, so move it over. Divide by negative 3. But... As you noticed, the sign flipped when you divided by a negative. So when you divide by negative, flip the sign. Same thing over here, you divided by negative, so you flip the sign. You kept your and. Don't be the person who leaves your answer like this, it's wrong. And statements are always written like this. X between the lower and the larger number. You see right here, X is less than 8 thirds. X is less than 8 thirds. If you wrote this one backwards, it's right here. So again, ands are always written like this, and ands are always shaded between. If you basically looked at the two equations or inequalities, you would notice they would shade towards each other. And also be careful, if it's just less than or greater than, these are open circles. If it's or equal to, there's closed circles. Now right off the bat, if this was a greater than, right off the bat, our graph should be going out. 
And all your answer would do is have an or right here. You'd stop and have the word or. But this is an and. This is a very brief summary of chapter 1.